Hi, I'm Georgina Bisbee, a journalist and the editor of Skill Builder. You might have been following our Skill Builder extension series over on the YouTube channel, which I've been involved in the filming of and the editing. And although I've undertaken renovation work before, it's the first time that I've been involved in an extension project, and I've learned absolutely loads along the way. So I thought I'd share some of my top tips and lessons learned with you in case you're undertaking an extension project for the first time as well. And today I'm up on the roof and just going through some top tips for anyone that's having some roof work done for the first time and hopefully the last time if you get it right. Breathable membranes. Believe it or not, not all membranes are breathable, even the ones that say they are. So it's always worth making sure that your roofer's investing in a decent brand, like this one, that's got all the necessary accreditation. Because if you don't, you can actually end up with condensation, which can lead to damp and even rot. Not all roofers know this, but modern large format tiles need a fixing on every single tile. The old method of fixing every fourth or fifth tile is no longer acceptable, and the reason is, is that there's a failure rate in storms where the tiles then blow off. But, if you adhere to the modern standards, there's a zero failure rate. Now the buttons are what the tiles are fixed to on the roof, and although you can't see those, they're really important. You can get cheap buttons, but they can easily break if they've got things like knots in, like this one here. So it's better to spend a bit more and get graded buttons which are built to last. So perhaps ask your roofer what kind of button they're using. Now this is the headlap, and this is the overlap between each tile. This varies according to the pitch of the roof, but watch out for roofers who might try to reduce the overlap to save on tiles. You need to have at least the minimum recommended overlap to stop the wind and rain from driving under the tiles into the roof. So roof tiles used to be fixed on with sand and cement, but this has got a really high failure rate, so modern standards call for mechanical fixings to be used, especially on the ridges, hips and verges, and on the ends you even need double fixings. Make sure that your roof is keeping up with the latest standards, because often people don't, and you may end up with an inferior system that won't last you as long. So then my top tips to consider if you're having a new roof. Please feel free to add your own comments and experiences and even your own top tips. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.